Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockrinder. Today I'm talking about BitWhisper, which is a heat-based back channel. This comes from research from Ben-Gurion Cybersecurity Labs in Israel. And it's essentially research on how you can use heat as a communication back channel. Basically, the researchers set up two computers. And modern computers have highly sensitive thermal sensors. And they're designed basically to check to make sure that your computer isn't overheating when it's doing heavy computation. Computation. Anyways, the researchers found with the proper software, one computer can send communications to another computer by fluctuating its heat in a pre-assigned way so that the sensor in the other computer picks up on these changes and thus picks up on the communication. Now, of course, for this sort of attack to work, both computers need specially installed malware on them. On top of that, the computers have to be 15 inches close to each other or less in order for the sensors to pick up the heat fluctuations. And finally, you can only send about eight bits of data per hour with this particular communication back channel, which is a very small amount of information. Nonetheless, the researchers are going to take this to a security conference and talk about how you can use this back channel in an air gap network to send communications from a computer that may not have a network connection. Now, I do find this to be a very fascinating communication technique, but I don't think it's very practical in the real world. I don't think you'll see a lot of attackers use it. It needs malware to be pre-installed and there's more efficient ways to actually uh, set up back channels for communication. But if you are interested in this sort of fascinating computer trickery, I highly recommend you look up Tempest, which in my opinion is much more interesting and concerning. Tempest is basically the project where governments were trying to figure out how they could snoop on electrical devices using emanations, whether they be electrical magnetic emanations, radio frequencies, or noise emanations. And a great example of this is something called Van Eck Freaking, where the researcher of that name found that he could actually capture the display from a CRT monitor from a distance away by actually paying attention to the electromagnetic frequencies put out by that CRT monitor. And since then, governments have found all kinds of interesting ways to snoop on electrical devices by their emanations. Now, I find this much more concerning. It doesn't rely on malware being on the device. And governments have known about this since World War II and have been using it to some extent. As a quick digression, if you ever wondered where the term tinfoil hat came from, it's probably related to Tempest in that once we realized that electromagnetic and radio frequencies could leak from our devices, we started using Faraday cages to shield those leaks. And thus conspiracy theorists worried about people snooping on them would wear a tinfoil hat to avoid satellite communications reading our brain waves or whatever. In any case, it's funny how even the craziest idea is based on seeds of truth. BitWhisper is interesting, but don't expect cyber criminals to adopt this attack methodology anytime soon. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.